Hello, my name is David Howells, and today we're going to have a look at um, an issue that arises when using camcorders and DSLRs regarding the sound. Now, we've done everything right so far. We've got our mics set up, we've uh, ensured that the mics are close to us, and we've even been good little boys and girls in that we've got a, a, a camera, a camcorder or a DSLR that has a separate audio jack. So that means we can plug in external mics because we know we've heard that the, the mics on the in, inbuilt to the cameras are not very good anyway. They're not going to pick up sound very well. So we do everything right and lo and behold we think we're going to have fantastic quality sound. And we, we find that in fact there's a slight hum in the background or a slight hiss in, in the background especially on these um, Canon, Canon cameras, but it does happen on a lot of camcorders as well. And the reason is the actual amplifiers inside the camera, you may have got a good mic connected to it, but the amplifier inside the camera uh, and the sound system inside it has a, 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 what's called an anti-gain control. It's designed to help us, but in fact it produces a slight hiss in the background. The idea of the anti-gain control is it, it's supposed to stop very high peaks of sound, so if it goes too loud it tries to dampen it down a bit to, uh, to make the sound more acceptable. But the trouble is when there's a very low sound and when it's quiet, there's a hiss, which is the AGC working in the background. And it's noticeable in these type of circumstances where there's just dialogue, uh, perhaps where I'm speaking like this in a relatively silent uh, uh, location. It doesn't matter so much when you're out and about, and there's a lot of ambient sound, but it does matter in these circumstances. Okay, let's, have a, let's have a listen to what this sound sounds like, this, this background buzz. We have a look at this uh, Canon D60. What I've got here, I've got a Rode mic uh, connected here. Just plugging it into the audio input jack on the camera. And I will now just record a little bit on the, on the sound, the camera down there. So I'm speaking to the Rode mic. Um, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. And I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. Or is it the other way around? So that's recording now onto the Onto the, through the road mic onto the camera and the road mic is a, is a good quality uh, well used um, uh, mic for running and gunning it's used everywhere people are making a video so let's have a listen to the sound on that okay so we've seen what the problem is um, so how do we fix it so one solution is to basically not use the gain control or to reduce that and reduce the gain control over the sound and instead use an external device such as a preamplifier uh, to actually boost the signal and to uh, clear, clean the noise or clean the sound. So how does that work? Well, what will happen is typically this device here is a Juice Link DS214. And I said there was an extra cost. This is, this is uh, around about £100, $140 uh, obtainable from Juice Link. Uh, dot com so from America and um, these devices and they produce a range of devices and these devices are specifically designed for uh, cameras to actually um, improve the sound on cameras and what will happen is this device basically will take the sound from the mic there is an audio um, input so the mic will go in into there and this typically will be mounted uh, under the camera or somewhere on the uh, on the tripod and the camera then will be connected via a, a mini jack connection from here to to the audio so with that so they so that basically what you're doing is you're um taking the sound, it's going through here, it's, it's cleaning up the sound, it's making a better quality sound and it's putting it through to the camera. And on the camera what you're going to do is you're going to turn down the the actual gain or the, and the uh, sound uh, control on the camera to the absolute minimum so that you're not using that, you're using it on this and this produces a better quality sound. So we're going to have a look at that, what that sounds like now. Okay so I'm using the um, this Juice Link uh, preamplifier here and it's connected to the camera. The mic is plugged into the mic socket and is then connected from the juice link to the camera, to the uh, audio, mini audio jack. And this is now, I will now just record a little bit on the, on the sound, the camera down there. So I'm speaking to the Rode mic, um, 
friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Okay, so I'm using the um, this juice link to preamplifier here, and it's connected to the camera. The mic is plugged. So we can uh, we see here now that the uh, I've got the road mic connected the to the juice link box here. You can see the levels are going up on that. So that's now taking the signal from the road mic, and it's connected now to the Canon. And you can see, although we've got the recording level, the inbuilt recording level on the can is down to almost the minimum. So now it's picking up its signals left and right. It's picking up all the sound uh, levels are boosted now by the juice link box and dealt with by, by the juice link box, not by the um, Canon anymore. So that's, that's the juice link uh, box connected there to the Canon. You can see the effect of it. And if we have a look in the recording mode, record now you can see on the magic lantern that the sound is now coming through and the sound levels are now being dealt with by the juice link uh, box here and you can see it's telling you there the microphone is um, is being set to manual not to automatic just in case you haven't got a box there connected so um, that's the juice link box connected Okay, I hope you found that uh, short video useful and I hope you saw that the use of a preamp can actually be very useful in increasing the quality of sound in your video. So uh, thanks for watching and happy filming.